Dad, who'd been gone for about a month and a half, and it started off in the summer holidays. Lauren was premature, so she was immunised in hospital. It's been suggested that perhaps, although it was important that she had the immunisations, that maybe her immune system was not actually fully developed 11 weeks prematurely to have uh, the immunisation had been perhaps so effective. We thought it was just a bad cough, so I went around doing everything as usual. I went back to school and I had to go to the doctors a couple of times. It never crossed my mind that she would have whooping cough. In between the whooping cough episodes, you're completely well. So whenever my GP saw her, nothing to listen to on her chest, nothing to look at. She didn't even cough in the surgery. So he gave her some steroids and over the weekend, instead of getting better, she just suddenly developed the whooping sound, the coughing up of the thick mucus. And then by sort of two days later, she was having the blue episodes on the back of the hoops, which made me ring my GP straight away and said, I'm really, really concerned. This isn't asthma. She's not getting any sleep. She keeps turning blue. And then he said well, straight away, of course, I think she's got whooping cough. It was very frightening because you didn't exactly know what was going to happen. And sometimes I was worried if I was going to stop breathing. When I panicked, that made it worse. To hear the whooping sound at night, I have never sprung out of bed so quickly. And I think my child is 10. If she was 10 months, I don't know what I would be doing. It feels like your lungs are being squeezed or something. Sometimes you know when it's coming because my chest goes all raspy and a bit tickly. And then sometimes it comes on really, really suddenly when you're least expecting it. Most of the times it comes when you're running around. And in the worst week, the episodes became very, very, very close together. And particularly at night, which is when you get whooping, there would almost often be no gap between one episode and a load of whooping, by which point she would be navy blue, and she would recover, and then she'd get another one straight away. And that was very exhausting. It's such a long, protracted illness that if you are a very active child, and Lauren is a very keen dancer, it's, it's ruined for her six weeks of her life. It's hard not being able to do the things that I used to be able to do, like all my sports and things. It's been such a long time since I was well, and I can't remember <laughs> what it's like. But I'm hoping to be able to do them again. Today I was playing netball, and it was really fun. But sometimes, yeah, now it does make me cough, but I hope that it won't soon.